Good morning guys. Welcome to Angie Vlog. I hope you're doing good. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good night, <laughs> whichever time you're watching this um, reading for today. Um, I was literally kind of like brag here to do this. Um, also because this cards keep popping up every time I'm shuffling and Spirit's really heavily letting me know that I have to um, speak about uh, this. Also in my channels I will be talking about um, other things that I wanted to like clarify and make it like you know kind of known of you know, certain reality, certain things that I want to um, put out there. Also, you see, I'm preparing for the next card readings and I have other ones too. But it's just funny that these cards keep popping out. It's not funny. I just keep like putting it away because it's a very heavy energy, but I feel like spirit is like, you have to say it. This is a divine masculine and divine feminine who watch my channel. And I take heavy the responsibility for this, especially when spirits like you this is something that he needs to hear and she needs to hear as well okay so if you came across this message this message is for you so uh, you take what resonates and what doesn't you know you let it uh, let it just you know and whatever does resonate then you you know you breathe in take it in you know and also i'm gonna try to deliver these messages kindly as I can, especially as you see we have this beautiful rose. This is something that I want to talk about because every time I've been shuffling these cards and these pop out, there is this, um, yeah, there is this kind of like thing that needs to be spoken. You know, like it's not something that has been kind of like talked about within this connection. And I feel that, yeah, there it is. Like really clear. And yeah, this is, I would say this is kind of like a psychic reading too, <laughs> because these particular cards are important. Um, so you take what resonates. Okay, so the first thing that I see that I'm getting like lots of lots of like information is that, for example, whenever I will flip these cards, I will always look at, like I will always be attracted, like so drawn to this, okay? So let me give you an example. So these flowers, my daughters gave it to me on my birthday, okay? Um, in the beginning, this one was very like flourish, very like, you know, enlightened. And then this one was just like there, still there, right? And then all of a sudden, like a few days later, um, this one's like maybe three to four days, it started like just really like dying, right? Like really going down, like all the energy gets sucked up. And then you look at this one where she just continued being you know herself and uh, and then you see how they're like attached to each other so this is literally spirit and i've been getting confirmation from angels as well um and ancestors too they keep telling me like no you have to speak up about this this analogy which is something that if you look at it when i look at this and says okay so one of the relationship has been giving non-stop and then the other one is being taking from that other person so this could be actually a divine masculine or divine feminine who are they have this kind of codependency and but they are not this is also people who are separated who are not together so this is for people who are in separation who have not been in contact yet or haven't met yet or probably know each other in the 5g or telepathic way but haven't met each other yet or haven't been able to be in contact, but I'll get more into detail of why and how self-sabotaging and there's a lot of self-sabotaging here. But first I wanted to come into this of why I'm referring to this, okay? Um, I'm trying to do other things at the same time, so that's why I'm trying not to um, make too many breaks so that I can edit this right away. Um, 
but yeah so right away i see that you know the shit sorry i had a, a cold and also oh my god okay because it's also my time of like a day off that i have today also but also i'm having my kids uh, later so i need to do my self-care which i'm gonna go do but it's just a spirit it's like you cannot go until this is done until you able to explain um to you know help this couple uh find their way okay so basically it's letting me know that one of you has been taking 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 and nothing has been given to the other person okay also this person um knows that the other person is very giving very humbling very you know this person is a life worker there's definitely light workers and empath here there's definitely a healing healers right but also that the divine masculine is not there yet so i feel like this is something where also it could mean that the divine feminine is like you know what you have taken enough for me you have you know kind of betrayed there's a lot of be this betrayal here um cheating yeah he cheated uh, but you see, this is why I have to come here because I feel like this person has um, inner child wounds, either the feminine or divine masculine, and they feel like they're, you know, they have this betrayal energy. They have this like, oh my God, like, you know, but also I see why, because one of you have been always reciprocated, have always been kind. You're the healer. You've been healing this person. So this is another thing where it is showing to me this flower is that you have decided to like you know what even if you're taking to me i'm still kind of flourish i'm still kind of like let go of things that are not good for me and i'm gonna flourish okay but also it could mean that as i see this is also that you're taking your power back you're deciding like you know self-care is important i need to nurture myself i need to heal myself especially like I've been given too much to this connection and nothing has come out of that. But then again, this is something where spirit letting me know is like that person, um, it's not as enlightened or awakened or ascending as fast as you are. So this is definitely for a divine feminine, like your person, it's not, yes, he's making lots of mistakes because he's not awakened. He's still conditioned and programmed in the condition of how men should post to or men or women whichever but how divine masculines are you know but something happened within recently that make him like holy shit wait a second fuck you know because you know new beginnings new things are coming on the way new opportunities are coming for this divine feminines as well okay um so yeah i get the exchange uh card so this hasn't been as you know i see the flower um there hasn't been any communication or any exchange yet okay um but also i feel like with the 30s like they're these people are very creative they're very artistic um both of them okay and they also you know they're not one of them is it's in this power standing through us through following their soul mission and stuff like that and even literally going out of the way to help their divine masculine too like they're kind of like in a creative way or artist way they're kind of letting them know you know how to heal how to get to you know their union and stuff like that like you both inspire each other right but this is angels and spirits saying like, yeah, you inspire each other, you you help each other grow, you heal each other and stuff like that. But one of you is taking more than receiving. Yeah. And I feel like this is the divine feminine because we're so nurture, we're so like, you know, we want to always provide, we want to be there, but also this is spirit letting you know like, Yes, you're in a, you're a divine masculine and divine feminine, so like you're in that power, but remember that you have to, there's a reciprocity that needs to happen, like it's a give and take, okay? It's like the law of the universe, what you give is what you get. So if you're always giving, you have a codependency uh, problem, okay? You need to, need to heal that. That's for sure an inner child wound, uh, father wound, mother wound, one of the two, and these are stuff that, spirits letting you know it's time to heal that stuff like 
you know, work on, on, on having some stillness, having some serenity moments, having like, you know, quiet time and not being surrounded by people and their other people's opinion. That's another thing. There's a lot of other people's opinions on this, especially in the divine masculine. There's a lot of people like just intervening with his intuition, with his, what he knows that he knows in his heart. And because of that, this is why he also fucked up because he was listening and listening to other people uh, negative stuff and also like not following his intuition also he sabotages the connection like he knows he already knows that this person kind of watching him you both are mirroring each other you're watching each other somehow either i don't know social media or i don't know maybe you're in school together maybe you are i don't know but there's no contact these people are in separation but even more now because <clears throat> the divine masculine fucked up um let me just explain i'm trying to like dive into this in a kindness way um so yeah the the reason is that i see the justice card upright um there's some justice coming in for the divine feminine because the fact is that she's very intuitive so divine masculine this is for you she knows Okay. when you think she doesn't know she knows okay um she knows that you self-sabotage this that you were fucking around this is a player energy as well he's very he's very like i need to stick it whatever doesn't matter um yeah so he has a lot of controversy so i guess he's very experienced with sexual thing like he's very sexual and that too like he feels that kind of passion that kind of love for his divine feminine too you know but now he's recognizing that she's not down for that she's not down for his player way she's not down for him being like there's a lot of egocentric here too like he's very ego like he's dominated by ego like that's why it's very hard for him to listen to his intuition but also at the same time like he's being conditioned and programmed like this his family is like very loving but also like they didn't like they nurture things into him about like you know status uh uh, you know you're the people that you surround yourself with like don't surround yourself with certain people like he has like a cultural clash kind of thing because he also wants to get away with that like he just like he doesn't see things like this he sees things as a he's getting there that too he's going through his awakening actually this tower moment that happened where he realized that he fucked up triggered his awakening he's going through it see like he feels like a fool he feels really bad. There's a lot of sadness. There's a lot of uh, resentment. There's a lot of like, there's a lot of forgiveness that needs to happen within yourself, if I'm a, a masculine. Because the fact is like, yes, you, you know that you thought you could get away with it. There it is. He thought that she wouldn't find out, right? Like she wouldn't know because we're not together. But in a soul level, you guys are. In the 5D, you are. And I think that's what happened. She declared like when she found out she's like she caught everything and i'm still trying to understand how this person did that because it's actually kind of hard to do to walk away from a soul soulmate or train flying kind of connection especially it's, it's really hard these um, kind of relationships but she's doing it she's taking her power back she's bringing justice or he's bringing justice into this because he's realizing like fuck i fucked up there's a lot of like, fuck! And then he's realizing that he lost that connection. He lost that thing that make him, you know, inspire him, that make him feel whole. Like this person brings um, so much peace, so much joy, so much love into this. And, you know, and he never, he always wanted to explore what it would be like to be with this person, right? Because she brings so much light, she brings so much stuff, you know. I also see in both sides, okay? I see alliance, like I see him like, okay, wait a second, I need to fix this. But at the same time, you know, there's a give and take. There's some really good things coming along for these uh, divine masculine, divine feminine, but I also see there's a new love. There's a new person for the divine feminine. And it's normal because that spirit in the universe and God, like if you screw the person that loves you the most, we're gonna take it away and that's what he's realizing and that's why there's a lot of tower moments 
into this connection. But you see, you you both are the magician. You both there's a new beginning. There's new love coming in. Um, but also, you see, this also tells me that the divine master also have options. He has plenty of options. He knows that too. It, like he's like a jigolo thing. But now he's realized, like I don't want to be that person. I don't want to listen to other people's opinions and their negativity and stuff. I don't want to be that. I don't want to do that. I actually want to see what this will feel like, what this will be. And that's what I see this. He's going to realize this. He's in that mode like, oh, wait a second. What? Did I just sabotage and and screw this up kind of thing? So he's coming in. to like that. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised. There's a text, email or something coming in within the next few weeks or so. Also, this is the mercury retrograde um there's a libra season so there's a lot of justice that is going to happen here there's a lot of things that are going to come into fruition but my advice to the divine feminine is your choice okay you can either forgive this person but forgive him for yourself first but this is where i need to address this you might have father wounds and mother wounds okay because you're not together with this person so what you feel is the betrayal of yourself, not that they betrayed you, okay? Because you're not like, this is their life. You're, you know, you're just the person that helps them heal and stuff like that. And yes, you have this beautiful connection with him, but at the end of the day, you're not together. Maybe he doesn't even know who you are, or maybe he does know who you are. He's aware of you. Obviously he watches you and he sees you, like he's keeping a very close eye on you, okay? Uh, whatever you're doing, okay? And also I see that like, because he cheated, because he did some fucked up shit, also he didn't, he kept her in the sign, like he ignored her and stuff like that. And then she found out that, then that's it for her. It's like, you know what? This is not good for me. This is, and she's, and she's taking her power back, you know? And your divine masculine is realizing this. So either way, I still think that he's gonna come in, he's gonna tell you, he's gonna confess those stuff. There's some communication that needs to happen, but I wouldn't be surprised that, you know, because there's a new person coming in for this divine feminine, um, but it's up to you. It could also mean that you, and even though there's a new love coming in, you might just um, give this relationship a chance, okay? So it's up to you, you can bring, you know, but he's gonna bring the dust. He's gonna try to amend, make amends, and try to prove to you that he's not that person anymore. That he's not, uh, that he's not a player. That he's not of that. But he needs to go through his healing too. So I wouldn't even go near this person if you give him some space. Take that space for yourself too. He needs that space, and you need that space too. Okay. So I would suggest take the space from each other to see where this can go because you're both are a soul connected. There's a soul mission here. You're meant to be doing amazing things, okay? But the divine masculine is going through it right now. He's not there yet as you are. And, um, and that's what I was saying is that heal those part where you feel betrayed by this person because you know what he did and you know what he's been doing, but you kept loyal, you kept good person, you kept, um, you know, you, you kept being a good person and also that too, you've been doing, you're going through some stuff too. The divine feminine is going through some heavy shit as well. And you know, she's bringing justice. She's working on things that needs to happen as well. And she's also looking into like, okay, what other options that she has? Because she haven't before, because she's been so focused on the other person. She's been so focused on the other person. But now spirit is saying, you know what? You you do have options too as well. Go have fun. Go in a day. Go, you know, go see what the world has to offer for you as well. This is your life is supposed to be enjoyed and and and, and you know finding your meaning and stuff like that. Like you don't have to you don't need to rely on other person validation or their love for you to feel love inside, you know? And it's nothing wrong with um asking for love i feel like this person is like um she was kind of like conditioned not to speak up and kind of like demand that you know it's okay that you deserve love it's not a it's not a weakness to um have your needs met especially in terms of love and especially if you didn't have that when you were a child 
So that's why, you know, it's good to embrace that, okay? But definitely see with the trump card, there's a lot of abundant joy and love and a new love or the love of your soulmate. Like he's realizing this and, you know, he's gonna come in. He's gonna come and, and explain things and, and try to make it right, okay? I hear a lot, a lot, I'm not giving up. Like there's a lot of that. I'm not giving up on us. I'm not giving up on this and that's beautiful. And if you're okay with this, it's because, you know, it's free will. You're accepting this, you know. Just put, you have to set boundaries. You have to make it clear. Like, this player game thing, this disrespect of me and not appreciating or all these things. You have to be straight up with this dude before you come into a unit with, uh, with this person, okay. So, I definitely suggest have high standard uh, boundaries. Very high standard boundaries and uh yeah and then you know the thing is that, that as you both are healing because eventually you both will continue that deeper healing when you want when you unionize when you get together um you both are bringing justice not just to your situation in life but also the world i'm hearing that a lot this couple your very your mission <laughs> It's much bigger than you actually think, okay? So I know that in an emotional sense, you need to be like, you know, balanced, but I'm telling you right now, your union is actually much bigger than that. It's much bigger than the emotional, than what you're feeling in the 3D right now. So I know that it's a heavy load to think about, especially for the divine masculine, he's not awakened yet, but the divine feminine, you know what's up, right? um you're going through your ascension you're half multiple awakenings already and you know you also understand what this union means you understand what this soul mission is and you're going to it whether he's along or not which is why it's like this is important self-care loving yourself knowing yourself or speaking up and you know um healing this is a time for healing as well okay so i hope this Resonate, I think that's what I have for you. I wanted to see more deeper into it just to see because this one, the key, yeah, Seven of Swords, betrayal. Yeah, like he's feeling very, yeah, yeah, he's feeling like because he, yeah, Six of Swords. Oh my god, Kings of Cup in reverse, like he. He knows he messed up. He knows he's the, he's the one for you, but also you like, he's the king of cups in reverse. Like you're already like, you know what? Maybe you're not my king of cups. And that's what I'm saying. Like he sees you as, but I'm telling you once the communication is fixed, because that's what it is. You guys are not communicating. You're not being authentic to yourself or listening to your intuition, especially the divine massive. You need to work on nurturing your intuition you need to do your meditation you need to heal you need to work on this also try celibacy like dude the sexual there's so much has changed you're you're taking all these females um stuff like you need to learn how to also release the divine feminine like i see you that you have you know but you're also like no i'm keeping myself I'm working on myself. I don't have time for that. So, yeah, she's working on her bag. She's doing her shit and healing people. And she's working on that stuff. So that's why she might give up on this connection if there's no communication. And you know this. The Divine Master know that because she's your six of cups. You know, there's family. You see her as somebody that you can grow old with. That you see, I see it like, you see the little old you know that you can have children there's also you know but also i see that within the family there's some deceit deceit yeah there's deception in within this family or maybe yeah yeah there's a three of cups there's a community there's some new relationship new things are coming in but why am i getting this deception energy the fool yeah someone's being lied to yeah, so we're going a little bit deeper now, but yeah, someone's being lied to. 
or someone's lying about something about certain connection or something yeah there's somebody trying to sabotage also like he's doing it too but there's somebody also helping like creating sabotaging yeah yeah but the divine masculine uh, yeah the divine feminine sees through that she sees through you man she see through all the lies, all the bullshit, and she's gonna walk away. Yeah, that's what the spirit is saying. Like, either you decide, you have to make a decision. You either walk away from things that are not good for you, and then embrace your new, your new thing that you want to build and follow your heart, follow your intuition, or this divine family. Seven of Pentacles. It means also like this person, you know, has a lot of self worth, self. Um, like you know they're not you know but also they've been working on themselves like i see the seven of pentacles like there's good things new opportunities coming in yeah tower moment it also means that something needs to break something needs to end in order to begin so it could also mean that whatever happened within the two of you you guys are acknowledging this See, they came out on both sides the tower card so this is both of you you both are going through stuff but you feel like it's kind of the end but it's really the beginning just remember that whatever it needs to end is just to start something new so something new can come in okay it has nothing to do with that uh, yeah the hangman he feels hey yeah he's really like he's feeling this like he's feeling her distance yeah, and she's gonna bring justice but he's coming in. He's gonna bring the justice. He's gonna, yeah, the bottle and the night of cups. You see, he's keeping himself like in the safe zone and the comfort zone. He has a, a communication. He has some things that he wants to say. He has an offer um, or some sword. Um, yeah, the death card. Ooh, and the knight of cups are reverse. Okay, so yeah, he's letting go of shit, which is good, divine feminine. So whatever you saw negative or whatever that you feel towards him, he's healing that. He's going through that healing right now, okay? So something he knows that he, that he needs to let go of certain habits, certain behaviors, certain people that don't bring him good stuff to him. Also, he's dealing with some family or issues and stuff like that, okay? But the Knight of Cups in reverse, yeah, he's taking also his power back. He's going to work on 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 this yeah. yeah he sees you as his fulfillment you're his true true love <laughs> and he knows this but also he's not he probably could be young he could be younger than you um or maybe you're more like evolved and more experienced in terms of spirituality or life or stuff like that like you're more experienced but definitely he's going through some stuff right now with his family, with anything. And that's why, you know, I'm telling you both, stop taking things personally and communicate. Okay. All right. That's all I have for you. Communicate. This is a beautiful love. And I hope this helped you. If this really helped you and it resonated with you, please like and comment. Um, I, I love to know if these um, are helping you also share with somebody that you might think that this rep might resonate with them as well and uh, yeah i hope you have a beautiful day and i'll see you next video